it was mind boggling. It was just incredible the level of detail that was being achieved. The scanning of the Titanic or the digital twinning of the Titanic, as I prefer to, 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 to call it, is a, is a culmination of sort of six, seven years worth of work. And the objective was to map the, the largest man-made object that you can't go and visit to, to try and bring our experiences um, on the seabed to the world. In the depths of the Atlantic lies the wreck of the Titanic. The doomed ship was mapped using underwater robots or ROVs. The challenges of getting something down to the depth of the Titanic, the main one is the pressure and the length of the cables that you need to have to the ROV. One of the advantages of the ROV is that it can stay down. Once it's down, it can stay down almost indefinitely. The ROVs were down there for days and days on end, just continuously, we sort of call it mowing the lawn, running back and forth, doing lines, taking the video and the stills. Over 700,000 images were taken of the wreck and it was scanned with lasers to build the digital twin showcasing the Titanic in incredible detail. So it allows really a bird's eye view, which has never been achieved before, of the different sections of the Titanic. The bow, because of its shape, planed off and, and stayed upright and, and, and is relatively intact. You know, it's highly buried into the mud. When you look at the stern data, uh, the stern itself, you'll see the damage on the impact and then the, the compression of the decks with the water that followed it down through. And then, of course, the, you know, the debris field, there's both uh, probably the stern spiraled down through the water, huge debris field. After creating this digital replica, the team wanted to bring it to people who would never get the chance to visit the wreck itself. So what we've done is we've launched VRV Pilot, which is Magellan's portal to the world to share our experience on the seabed. Um, this data set is just the first. You know, there's many geological features, other structures um, that we want to we want to share with, with with the world. So, you know, you know, the, the, the digital twin of, uh, of of the Titanic is in there at the moment, but there are other uh, exciting digital twins that we're going to share in that portal. Up until now, it's been a very elite group of either extremely wealthy businessmen who could afford to pay for a trip or oceanographers. And now anyone anywhere in the world with a computer can download the VROV experience and actually fly around the Titanic and investigate areas on their own. And then maybe there's a, a you say crowdfunding, but a crowd um, data gathering experience where people can go into the portal and go and find stuff for themselves and tag it and tell us where it is, and then we can we can move that forward. Seven, eight, nine-year-olds are, are finding things, you know, that you can see the, the serial number on the propeller, uh, right down to the rivet detail, but there are many other things to find. 